everybody, welcome back. This week we're going to go ahead and finish the 12 volt stuff um, from the DC to DC converter and then we'll get into some more of the high voltage things, charging, uh, things like that. So let's get started. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and mount uh, the one fuse here. So this will be coming from the battery um, just so all my 12 volt systems uh, don't pull too much current. Uh, that's what that one's for. So I'm going to mount it kind of there in place and um, I may cut out some of this other uh, plastic so the battery can sit there. All right, so I welded in some uh, supports here just so the battery can sit on some good metal that's attached to the frame. So I'll go ahead and paint that and then um, I just need to drill some holes for some rib nuts and then this will be mounted and put the battery in place. All right, I got it. Uh, drilled and tapped and anyways uh, the mounting points are there and also got it painted so gonna let it dry and then we'll go ahead and put the battery tray on and the battery all right so it's all kind of in there and secure um, I'll go ahead and I need to get these cables made to kind of go to both ends and over here as well as through the fuses so I will go ahead and start uh, making some cables and uh, put some terminals on. All right, I got the uh, mounting kind of sorted out. So those two rib nuts for this fuse. So it'll kind of sit here. And I just have to kind of make sure I get the right cut length and put the terminal on here and then from here to there. Okay, so I finished this cable. This is the one that goes from the fuse relay box to the uh, fuse that goes in between that and the battery. So this one will go to the fuse and this other end goes to the fuse relay box. So I'll go ahead and put that in place and see how we go. All right, so there's the cable. Um, let's see if we can get this out of the way. So essentially from the fuse relay box to the fuse, and then this one will go up to the uh, battery terminal uh, right here. So I'll get another cable ready and we'll get to work. Okay, I have the positive side done. So I've got this one in here. So that one's all tight and ready to go. And so I got all these crimped heat shrink. Um, so there, so that's essentially from the DC to DC converter. And then, oh crap. I forgot I need a fuse. Um, so yeah, I need a fuse right here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll have that one go here and I'll have another fuse go under there. I don't know, I'll put it somewhere. Actually, there's already a spot, one hole there, so I might put the fuse right there. So anyways, I need one fuse here, but this one, so again, it's going to that fuse and essentially into the fuse relay box here for all the 12 volt systems. So I'll work on that fuse and yeah, 
The negative side, I'll get going as well. I won't actually hook it up to the battery. I'll measure everything out, but uh, yeah, I just don't wanna short things while I'm kind of working around. So I'll leave that one off. Uh, maybe I'll even cover some things up so I don't accidentally touch it, but that's where we're to. All right, I got the fuse in. So positive side's done. Um, goes from the DC to DC converter through the fuse to the positive terminal on the battery. And then from there, so you can see it, to that fuse and then into the fuse relay box there. So we'll go ahead and do the negative side and go from there. All right, here's the uh, negative side. So again, from the DC to DC converter comes around and goes up to here. And then this is the one that goes to the um, fuse relay box. So again, if I touch this, you'll hear it kind of start to go. So you can hear it going. And, but for now, we're gonna leave it off so it doesn't drain the battery and we don't want just systems on right now. So um, from here, we'll go, we'll, now that this is kind of all wrapped up, we'll go back and uh, look at kind of the high voltage side. All right, I'm trying to still decide where to put the, uh, it's like the charging outlet here for the car. So I believe on the gas version, they actually have this kind of in a cutout here. Uh, you know, that's where they would fill up the gas tank. So I could put it up here, kind of again in one of these cutouts. Um, Naturally, I kind of feel like I maybe want it, you know, here, you know, like a little panel or something that would pop open. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure. So on the car, that would mean this would kind of be up in this area or kind of back in this area. And so I'm tending to like kind of back in this area but let me know what you think. I got some tires. So these are for the uh, front wheels. So the, uh, I've got, so I went for the uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Um, thought about going for the Cup 2s, but uh, I'm thinking, I'm, anyways, I was looking, the Cup 2s are kind of more like 80% track, 20% street. Uh, these are more like 80% street, 20% track. So I really don't think I'm gonna be doing 80% track. Um, and if I do, I might just get a separate set of tires. But just thought I'd share. Pretty exciting. Um, these are again for the front. Rears are coming and rims are coming. So hopefully those will come soon. I'll let you see. All right, I'm trying to also figure out the best way to use this one as well. So this one works um, with the, uh, when this is plugged in, essentially it's got two pins that kind of allow this all to work. Um, so it kind of acts like a relay in that when, every, when it sees everything connected, it'll allow things to charge. Um, it's also kind of got a built-in um, like relay. So you can like, the, the main purpose I think for this one is you can have it uh, start charging or stop charging or what I'm gonna use it for is uh, it needs to disable the drive so you can't uh, drive it while it's being charged. So I talked to uh, the company I bought the charger from about kind of like an overcharge protection, how should I do that? And they said the charger itself has kind of a limit there 
So that's what I'm gonna plan on, but if you guys have some other suggestions, let me know. All right, so this is gonna be my, uh, my base plate for the uh, high voltage um, components. So I'm gonna kinda sort everything out and start drilling some holes to mount everything. All right, so one thing I probably need to do before I lay everything out is uh, make sure I can get this mounted. So this is kind of the lines I've drawn for essentially the frame underneath. So I'll drill a couple of holes and see if I can't uh, attach some rib nuts and get things mounted. Um, I'll then unmount it and come back to laying everything out. Okay, so I'm part way through this. Um, I'll just kind of, I guess I'll just describe uh, what I've what I've got and the plan here. So um, I got my two fuses. My thought is I'll have the negative from one pack come in here, the negative from the other pack come in here. Again, these will go to, this is the negative contactor and uh, black will be grounded. The red goes to the Tesla controller. Um, as I mentioned before, it controls the pre-charge circuit. Um, the positive, I'm going to have the essentially the two pack wires joined to the uh, the switch. Still haven't figured out where I need to put that. But then from the switch, it'll come in to here. Again, I've got the uh, this is all the pre-charge circuitry, so essentially it comes into here. But uh, the wire that signals this to open or close. It comes from the Tesla controller and then it kind of goes through the pre-charge resistor to open to open that. So essentially these two um, will go out to the motor and I've got one more over here. This will be for the um, DC to DC converter. All right, well, I ended up switching um, those two. So this is my positive contactor, and this is the contactor that goes to the DC to DC converter. So um, I'll try and explain again, and again, if my understanding is not correct, please uh, let me know in the comments. But I've got, uh, so my negative from one pack and the other pack will go here and here. So in here, in here. Um, they get connected, joined, and go to this side of the negative contactor and essentially I've got this I think I mentioned before but this one gets controlled by the uh, Tesla controller so pin H um, the negative of that one comes to here I've just got them all kind of grouped together there <clears throat> so that's the negative and then this one will go out to the motor so on the positive I'm gonna have uh, the two packs meet together 
um, with a switch. And when it comes back in, there'll just be one, one uh, cable here. So it'll go to here. And again, I've got the, uh, what was that, pin G? So that, uh, the Tesla controller also controls this one. And again, the, uh, the negative of, of this one is back here. But again, I've got them all, all the grounds going here. So again, the controller will open this. And again, this one will go through the uh, relay here, through the pre-charge resistor, and finally get things open. So again, these two will go to the motor. Um, over here, this is for the DC to DC converter. So again, I'm just gonna have this come on with a uh, switched power, and then the ground goes there. And so, yeah. Um, I probably didn't explain everything. Um, this this goes or comes from the uh, charger. So this will come from the charger. Again, it's able to charge the positive battery pack or the battery packs going to the positive and then also over here to the negative. So yeah, let me know if you uh, have some suggestions, hints, thoughts, uh, but this is where I'm to. And that's about all the time we have for today. All right, that's all the time we have for this week. See you next week.